Hi, I'm Claire, and I only play non-contact sport, and yet I break bones on the wreck. We are at the Tag Rugby All-Ireland. We're both injured, so we're just watching. Very fun. In 2016, I broke three bones in the space of nine months, and I managed to somehow beat that record in 2019 by breaking three bones in the space of seven and a half months. In 2016, it was a broken finger, a broken thumb, and a broken wrist, which required surgery. <laughs> this is like my normal arm here, and look at the size of my now noodle arm beside it. And like, there's no muscle left in this arm. Isn't it almost impossible to tell the difference because they're both noodle arms? Shut the fuck up. In 2019, it was one broken baby finger followed three weeks or four weeks later by another broken baby finger which required surgery. A couple of months later followed by breaking a collarbone. I want to introduce you to the man who broke my collarbone. <laughs> I, I'm a man of peace, really. As you might imagine, anyone who's played tag against Claire would know that I was the one who was really in danger. I'm actually still recovering from the broken collarbone. There'll be a lot of rehab that begins once I get the okay from the doctors. Why are you so upset? Because my hand doesn't work. But it will work. Okay, that's fine, but I just want more sympathy. <laughs> So why do I keep breaking bones in non-contact sports? I play tag rugby and touch rugby, neither of which are supposed to be contacty. All of the fingers that I have broken have been getting caught on people's shorts when I'm going for the tag or cracking my fingers off people's hips when I go for the tag. Both of my baby fingers this year were such innocuous pulls, minor pulls on shirts and shorts that I genuinely began to wonder if there was something wrong. I think my record is six months without breaking a finger. Somebody had introduced me to the concept of a DEXA scan. A DEXA scan is a scan that scans bone density, which leads me to GenoFit. I ended up getting a GenoFit exam done. So GenoFit is a research study being carried out in some universities. I know that I went to UCD. I will link down to the website down below so you can get all the proper information but it's my understanding that it's a research study to try and figure out how your genetics affects your health and your fitness levels. By doing the test you agree that they can use your data indefinitely for research and as part of this GenoFit you did get a free DEXA scan. I went and did their test and I got a number of results back. It measured things like your body mass index, your waist to hip ratio, blood pressure levels, blood sugar levels, and your physical work capacity. Hand grip test, which tested your muscle strength, your total body fat percentage, visceral fat, android, and gynoid ratio. No idea what that means. Your bone mineral density, which is the part of the test I was interested in, and your lean mass. I did this test in August 2019. So here is my results from August 2019 and a time where I was in a decent state of fitness, not at my fittest ever, but I was at a manageable state of fitness for this amount of sport I was playing. Just so you know, I don't have any B-roll of me going into GenoFit to get this exam done because you were not allowed to film in there. Started driving to work there to have it. I actually do that regularly. I do that on the way to tag as well. Luckily, I caught it just in time to not turn back onto the correct road. The full title is Investigating the Genomic Basis of Fitness and Health. So the difference, as it was explained to me, is that the DEXA scan in the GenoFit exam is an all over, like, general DEXA scan. If I want to take that result further and investigate further, I would actually need to go to the hospital and request a hip DEXA scan. So they need to take the scan from your hip. So my blood pressure was optimal. My blood sugar levels were normal. Wow, my physical work capacity when I took this test in August 2019 was superior. I'll take that. Hand grip test. My left hand was worse than my right hand, although I think I've fixed that now by breaking the right collarbone. So this is one of the ones where you're just comparing it to the normal rate of your age and gender. I am between 30 and 34. My left kg range should have been between 29 and 34, and it was 24. And my right kg range should have been between 28 and 38, and it was 25. <laughs> I'm a weed. I knew I was a weed. That's fine. In August 2019, I was below average for body fat for females aged between 30 and 39. My body fat was 25.4 and it says here between 21.4 and 26.8 is below average. Although I did say that to someone once and they were like, yeah, but have you seen other women your age? <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, so visceral fat, android and gynoid ratio. 
zero point twenty to zero point twenty four is below average, and I was zero point twenty two. But yeah, she explained this to me. I store a lot of my fat in my arse and my thighs. I do not store a lot of my fat in my stomach, which doesn't sound ideal, but apparently it is actually ideal. So in other words, when I have a food baby going on, like I've really had to work for that bad boy because it should be an arse food baby. I'm talking nonsense now. So here's the kicker, the bone mineral density, why I took the test in the first place. The bone mineral density is the amount of mineral matter such as calcium and vitamin D per square centimeter in your bones. A DEXA scan is the gold standard for measuring bone mineral density. The table below shows the average BMD scores based on gender and age. I got a bone mineral density score of 1.067. For a female, the average should be 1.115. That's not really ideal. The woman in the GenFit exam did talk to me about this. She said that, again, their DEXA scan they do is like a general one. If I want to go get a proper hip DEXA scan, I need to request that from my doctor or from the hospital. She did say that there was no reason to panic. I don't remember if she said that this was a European average, but I think that she did. And she was saying that a lot of Irish people would be behind European averages anyway, because they don't get no vitamin D. I drink a lot of milk and I eat a lot of cheese and I do ingest quite a lot of calcium. But she pointed out that that's not good enough on its own. You actually need vitamin D. And because our Irish people don't get enough sun, um, we should be taking vitamin D tablets. This is a useful indicator of one's health and nutritional status and is an important factor in maintaining bone density. It is a component of body composition that refers to the weight of everything in your body, excluding fat and bone. Lean mass percentage calculated using a DEXA scan is a common me metric used to estimate muscle mass. I am between 30 and 39 and I got 72%, uh, so between 70 and 75% is above average. That is my Genefit exam. I'll put the links down in the description. I think that if you're based in Ireland and if they're still doing it, it'd be worth your time doing. In particular, because I did this at a time where I was fitter than I am now, I feel like I did get to go in really early to UCD and just get quite a few compliments. I would be really interested actually in doing this again and comparing my results after I've been injured now for so long. However, I do think that I would probably be able to get similar results pretty quickly I do actually tend to bounce back from injury very well, bounce back into fitness quite quickly. I hope that you found this interesting. <laughs> I, I know they're my results, but the, the test I actually think is quite interesting. There'll be a link down in the description if you want to go sign up to do it. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.